Welcome to my review of my new Ukitel WP16 ruggedized waterproof phone with its massive 10,000 mAh battery. Just taking a look at how my very excellent Ukitel WP16 came packaged. Um, in a nice little box like this, there's some more details on the back. So let's open her up. I've been using it for just over a week now for all sorts of things, actually nearly two weeks. But I've still got the original packaging. So it comes with one of these nice um, plugs that opens up. It comes with a USB-C data and charging lead. It comes with a little instruction book, which has got some fairly useful information in it in several different languages. Fairly minimal, though, because there's so many things you can do with these phones that it's impossible to give everything in the manual. And a little SIM pin here with a little hook on the end. So here is the phone, not quite as clean as it was when it arrived, but it did arrive with this screen protector fitted. And there was also a um, piece of plastic with some information about the phone uh, fitted to the front when I received it. So on this side, <coughs> you've got the fingerprint reader and on off button and the volume keys. On this side, you've got the smart button and the SIM tray. We'll have a closer look at that in a minute. On the bottom, you've got the type C connector and then here you've got the normal daytime camera and a nighttime camera with infrared LEDs. So let's have a look at the um, charging socket first, which is in here. You'll see there's no um, socket for a pair of headphones. However, if you want to use a pair of normal headphones rather than your Bluetooth ones, you can always get one of these little leads like I've got, which you can plug in there and then you can use a wired headset. And sometimes these things are just a bit more comfortable and just a little bit better than the earbuds, which I normally use, which are here. These are Bluetooth earbuds. So obviously you don't need any wire to connect them up. And in many ways, they're more convenient. But you can still use wired headset if you want to. So this is just a short sample of video recording on the phone. So I'm the looking at some of the raised beds in my garden. This, cover, this is part of a video here. I'm going to publish a bit later on can, about uh, what I've done in the garden. Release it by pushing the SIM pin into this little hole here. There we go. And then the SIM pin will hook underneath the bottom of the tray here and pull it out. So here are a few photographs and I've taken in my garden. That one's a marsh marigold in my garden here pond. Either that one's one of the lobelia in a raised a bed that's got flowers and things in. And this one the is I've only got of one uh, card rosemary in our front garden. It's so taken quite close up and it's uh, work come out all right. Here, this so is a group of daffodils, in also in the front so garden, taken that's, from that's a bit further away. Out. And that's just a um, long distance photograph down towards the end of the so road and beyond. So they're all quite interesting. Here are some I took indoors. This one was with normal out. light. That's I then turned the lights out and took another photograph using the camera's normal, the phone's normal camera. That's what I got. I then turned on the night vision camera with its UV lights, and that was the result. So you can see it's quite effective. So another thing I often use my phone for is navigation. These days it's often by train or bus. And here we are on the train on the way to Andover. You can see that the uh, phone tracks our progress quite accurately by comparing the pictures from the window and those from the map. So there's the uh, welcome screen. Let's do the uh, bottom cover back up as well. It's on automatic brightness, I think, so it should come up moderately brightly since we're outside unless I've overridden your automatic brightness at some point. I've been using this for things like Duolingo, for my daily Bible readings, for reading books on, for browsing the internet, for emails, obviously, for texts, for WhatsApps, for video calls, all sorts of things. It's an excellent phone for all those tasks. And with the headphones, it's great for listening to music as well, whether I use the uh, Bluetooth ones or the slightly more serious ones. Getting to Duolingo and... Um, takes as long as it takes to get the information from the web. And uh, moi, c'est Thomas et toi, je m'appelle Paul, etc, etc. So really quite easy to use. And I like this phone a lot. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. And uh, yeah, I can certainly recommend it. It is ruggedized. It's got a huge battery. It is quite heavy. So you might not want to hold it for too long. I hold it for quite a long time myself, but it, it does tie your wrists out a bit. So if lightness is important to you, this isn't the phone for you. But if performance, ruggedness and long battery life, if you go for two or three days without recharging, even if you're using it heavily like I do, then this is definitely the phone for you and it's a good, good device.
Here's my new phone connected to my car. Let me see if I can do it all to up. So if I click on Maps, it should show me, yes, that I'm at home, which I think I am. So then I can click on Search. Uh, and I can look for where are we? Uh, can, can I go around with the bus station? I can see in this business centre. Let's look for let's look for the junction handle, shall we? So there we are, all ready to go. Um, Head south on Hammond Road towards Android Cordale Auto. Road, then turn Navigate right onto Cordale to. Road. Navigate Head south to. on Hammond Road towards Cordale Road, then turn right onto Cordale Road. So Android Auto would now navigate me to the car park of the Chantry Centre in Andover. Um, there we are, um, playing uh, Android Auto, uh, playing uh, Amazon Music, and I can flip back to my route and just carries on playing. So.